Great. So now we're going to learn 3 bit weave. This is forward 3 bit weave. Um, what you can do is you can make some poi. If you want to make some poi, it's really easy. You basically just need something long with a ball at the bottom. Um, you can use carrier bags with a tennis ball in. Um, or you can use, a lot of people like to use socks. So if you've got some knee length socks, put some more socks inside it and you end up with like a long sock with a heavy bit in the end. Whatever it is, as long as you can swing it around, you'll be fine. I, yeah, you can do a three-bit weave with a t-shirt. It's just a bit more difficult, that's all. Um, so yeah, let's look at three-bit weave and how to do that. So, we're going to use poi first because they're easier. Um, they're also more versatile in some ways, so that's why people like them. Um, Okay, so th so three bit weave and two bit weave. Two bit weave we know about. So if you imagine your two bit weave as right hand leading. So if we do a two bit weave like that, you'll see that my right hand is always on top. You see that? So this hand always stays above, and it always leads. So it comes across and it goes back, and it comes across and it goes back, and it comes across. And my left hand here. Is always following it. So if you watch that, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand across, left hand across, right hand, left hand. So the right hand's always leading, that's two bit weave. And what you should be able to do, you should find that pretty straightforward if you've been doing the same thing on flags. And what you should be able to do is stop and do the same thing with your left hand. So left hand leading across, right hand underneath following, blah blah blah. Exactly the same thing. So two bit weave, that's it. So three bit weave is the same, but you twist your hands over. Do you see that? Hand over hand, so left hand on top, right hand on top, left hand on top, right hand on top, left hand on top, right hand on top. So people do this in two different ways. There's two different ways you can think about learning this. So this is forward three bit weave, everything is going forward like that. I'll do backwards or reverse in a minute. One way to think about this is, Start with your right hand going across. When it goes across, you've got your hands crossed, your left hand's gonna come back around. So your right hand will go across like this, like a two-beat weave. And instead of your left hand just coming across the bottom and your right hand going back and doing the same thing again, like that, um, what you'll do is you'll swap. So on this side here, imagine you're doing a two-beat weave. Two-beat weave, your right hand comes across, your left hand comes across, this point here you switch. So some people teach it that your arm your, you just twist your arms over, so you're crossing them over the other way. I might just get rid of the point. So if you look a bit closer, your right hand comes across, your left hand's following, and there's this point here, if I turn, where your arms are crossed next to your side. So what you want to do is your right hand's going to come back across, but instead of doing that, like you would in a two-bit weave, or you'd just be going like this. What you're going to do is you're going to swap like that, and then your left hand's going to lead across, and your right hand's going to follow. And then the other side, you're going to swap back, your right hand comes across, your left hand follows, you're going to swap again, your left hand's on top, going across, your right hand follows. Very much like that kind of a motion. So you can think of it either as you go across, you get to the side, you swap hands, you go across, you get to the other side, you swap hands, go across, get to the side, swap hands, go across, swap hands. So it's always your top hand that's coming across, and you're just doing that swapping motion at either side. That's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is um, just put one hand over the other, like that. So it's a bit like you're doing front crawl. If you're a swimmer, it's just like putting your arm over your arm over your arm. Either way works, it just depends how you find it best. So I'll show you both of those with the normal boy. You can have a look at that. Um, so if you were to do it with, so you're doing your two beat weave, it's hard for me to do slow enough on this, but you're doing your two beat weave and you just swap over your arm. Do you see my arm goes over? Arm swap, arm over, arm. It doesn't matter how wide you're doing, you can do it really wide if you want. Whatever you find easiest, basically your 
arm goes over the top, your wrists move apart in a circle. So your wrists are going, you can kind of feel it in your wrists, they're just kind of swapping over. Well, the other way to do it is literally arm over, arm over, arm over, arm over, arm over, arm over, arm over. It doesn't really matter how you learn it, you can learn it either of those ways. At the end, basically what you want to do is have your wrists really close together, because the closer they are together, the better it tends to look. And also, the more versatile you can be, because it's easier to do far apart when you've got them close together, but it's harder to do close together if you're not, um, if you haven't practiced that. So that's kind of what you're going towards in the end. Um, that's forward three bit weave. So you want to practice that and then get reverse and five beat and move on to your four beat flags without twisting.